A very warm good morning to the chief guest, honorable principal, sir, respected teachers, parents, and my dear friends. I wish you all a very happy Independence Day. We all are excited for celebrating this great day in such an excellent manner. We are gathered here to celebrate 72 Independence Day of our nation. First of all, we hoist our honorable national flag, then give a salute to all the heroic deeds of the freedom fighters. I am feeling so proud to be an Indian citizen. I have such a great chance to give a speech on the Independence Day in front of you all. I would like to say thanks to my respected class teacher that she has given me an opportunity to share my views with all of you about freedom of India. We celebrate Independence Day every year on 15th of August because India got freedom on the night of 14th of August in 1947. Just after the independence of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru had given a speech on the Independence Day in New Delhi. When people all over the world were sleeping, people in India were awake to get freedom and life from the British rule. Now, after the independence, India has been a largest democratic country in the world. Our country is the most famous country for saying of unity in diversity. It faced many incidents testing its secularism. However, Indian people become always ready to answer with their unity. Because of the hard struggles of our forefathers, we are now able to enjoy the freedom and breathe fresh air according to our wish. Getting freedom from the Britishers was really an impossible task our forefathers did with their continuous efforts. We can never forget their works and always remember them through the history. We cannot remember all the deeds of all the freedom fighters in a day only. However, can give them a heartly salute. They would always be in our memories and way of inspiration to us whole life. Today is the very significant day for all the Indians which we celebrate remembering sacrifices of great Indian leaders who had given their life for the freedom and prosperity of the country. Freedom of India was possible because of the cooperation, sacrifice and involvement of all the Indians. We should value and salute all the Indian citizens because they are the real national heroes. We should keep faith in the secularism and never be separate to maintain the unity so that no one can break and rule again. We should take an oath today of being highly responsible and well-educated citizens of the tomorrow India. We should sincerely perform our duty and do work hard to get the goal and successfully lead this democratic nation. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.